What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to a special video episode Leech versus Ravana. Which one of those two robots is the better trolling robot or the better robot for exotic setups, right? You know what I mean with exotic setups? Setups are not the meta. We all know that the Ravana and the Leech are both robots, they're meta, okay? And normally people run Storm on it or Scourge or stuff that is just meta, okay? To be the most powerful things on the battlefield and to have it the easiest time with the enemy. But I'm a kind of different guy. I like to utilize those strong robots and try and try something out of the box. Try something creative and something, um, you know, exotic. And that's why I also want to know myself right now which one of those two robots is the better exotic setup user, okay? Now we have overdrive running on the leech and that's why we can do this. Boom! Down to last stand in one hit, okay? Now, if we compare this, the Ravana, by the way, we're running the Shock Train Ravana in a few minutes on the second match, okay? In this first match, we're checking out uh, the Leech Robot. And the thing is, uh, the Leech Robot has four weapons, okay? The Ravana has only three. But the Ravana is easier to use and you harder to kill. It's so hard to take down a Ravana. But first, a very creepy and intense minute of my The Last of Us playthrough on the other channel, Good Mood Gaming. Check this out. Gotta boost you, you up. Find me something to climb on. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me guess. It's going to slide down now, isn't it? No, see, oh, come on. Ow. This hurt. Oh, 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 oh. I'm alright. Oh, that was a fall. Are you man. okay? No! You scared the <laughs> out of me! I'll make my way up to you! Don't do anything stupid! Don't do I'll anything try. stupid. I do. <gasps> there was something up there. Did you see that? There was I think a clicker or something. Hotel. Oh. What is this? What is happening? And if you want to know how this continues, then check out the link to part 12 of that playthrough in the top right corner or the video description. And better yet, watch the whole playthrough because I am guarantee you guys it's going to be worth your time. Alright? And you see right here I'm hitting him with all damage now, but my overdrive is no longer running. So he takes a lot of damage, but it's not the full damage that he could have done if my overdrive would have run. So next time, now he's getting me down to overdrive. And when he comes out, and this is why the shock train is a good thing against Ravanas. How often have you encountered a Shock Train as a Ravana player? That's right, probably never. Because nev no one runs exotic se setups. Everybody just runs what's most powerful. And that's why people don't have too much experience against Shock Trains these days. And it's very good against Ravanas because there's this short time where you can hit it. And if you make it right, boom! You can make a lot of damage happen in this short time between the faces on the Ravana, okay? And um, yeah, so this is a very interesting thing. Right now, this guy is uh, leech uh, is leeching. I can't fire, and I have my overdrive lost. I'm not doing double damage anymore, but I can still bring him down quite well, and that's what I did here. And that, however, is also a problem. The leech has a very small amount of HP, so getting below the overdrive uh, mark reliably without losing legs or weapons is harder to do on the leech. So if you want to do a trolling ex setup, ex exotic setup with maximum damage on overdrive modules, uh, now we are perfectly in the range. Now we can no longer drop below overdrive. But you see how long it has taken me to get to this point, right? Because I have to do this carefully. If I do too much damage at once, then, well, I lose a weapon already and then it's basically it. So the Ravana can do this part much more safely and much more easily. But then again, the Leech has another 25% more fi uh, uh, firepower. Or basically, another 33% from the, from the eyes of the Ravana. You have 33% more firepower on the Leech robot because of that fourth weapon. Alright? Boom! Down to last end with him after hitting him twice. Alright? And um, yeah, I really like running exotic setup. This is my thing. I, I'm not the kind of... I, I mean, it's fun to run... Uh, 
hear storms and such on the robots and, you know, breeze through the enemies. But to me, most fun is running stuff that you don't see all the time everywhere. That that people just don't, you know, don't thought was don't think was going to hit them. That's my thing. <laughs> and uh, so we have a, a, a Blitz robot. Unfortunately, the Blitz just activated 90% resistance. So we did a lot of damage, but we didn't do enough for a last stand on him. 90% resistance. Well, it's quite a lot of resistance, let's be honest. But boom, last stand now. Okay, just with a little snip. We got last stand instantly, and then when he comes out of this, then the rest is gonna... Boop, there you go. All right, so... Um, Again, in the second match, we're gonna have a look at the Ravana, and then we'll draw a conclusion. I wonder what you guys say is the better trolling or exotic setup user. The Shock Train, uh, the, the Leech, or the Ravana. And by the way, I might try a few more exotic, set exotic setups soon. I'm gonna try Ion on the Ravana, uh, and I might be trying um, some other things as well, right? So uh, stay tuned for some exotic setups, and here it happens. I get killed instantly. That's the leech. I didn't have face shifts ready. I'm at a lot of HP. A, a Ravana would just walk around the corner with his ability now, but I don't have face shift and I'm dead. Boom. That's it. All right. And uh, that is kind of sad because I could have used so much more on this. Let's have a look at the Ravana. And by the way, if you like the content, ladies and gentlemen, okay, and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you want to get more content such as this one, or also the giveaway. Well, right now we have a giveaway going on um, with uh, where I'm giving away 200 Titan modules, the self-fix unit. Okay, in the top right corner is the video for you guys. If you like the content right here, or you want to see more giveaways and stay tuned on those, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, okay? See what I did right here? In case you were wondering why in the world I would stand there and just take damage to my face without doing anything, it's because I wanted to take the damage. I wanted to get exactly here. Overdrive, perfect activation for the rest of the match, okay? No one is gonna take that overdrive from me, except they kill me. And the Ravana can't be killed. So, the Ravana is probably the best robot for overdrive running, okay? Let's get that, um, let's get that Carnage or whatever it is over there. There's a little Carnage with an energy shield that we bypass. Okay, let's go for it. See him right there in the distance, and boom! And then I just run away, right? See this? I'm just gonna run away, because I'm a Ravana. And, um, yeah. I will be testing a lot more Ravana setups with exotic stuff, but I'm trying to use less meta things in some, some of those fun videos, because we've already seen the meta, we all see it. All we have to do is log into the game, and sorry to say it, but to see the stupid Storm Ravanas, everywhere crawling out of every corner right i mean we don't really i don't really need to show you this right now but that you may not have seen yet all right so boom overdrive three times overdrive means double damage means doing almost the damage of six shock trains it's not exactly double it's like 80 percent or 90 percent more damage with all the pilot skills and modules and uh, and and booster so almost double damage uh, but it's I would I always call it double damage like 100% extra because it's almost that far right and see we still have the same amount of HP in fact in the overdrive now we still have more HP than the leech so it's so easy to get into the overdrive range and not get past that right also because of this ability that he has look at this boom one shot and that specter got down to 25 percent and then he has a little poo pile in his pants and he's doing a, a stealth jump because he doesn't know what the heck just hit him he walks around la, 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 boom 25 percent health okay and he makes an emergency stealth jump because he doesn't know what the heck just happened and he doesn't want to get any more of these damage hits uh with his hydra specter because this is team deathmatch and i'm pretty sure that this uh player he likes his <laughs> his Hydra setup, and he wants to make use of the Hydra. By the way, you no matter how fast you run, Phantom, my Shock Train doesn't miss. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, and yeah, so this Hydra guy, he didn't want to lose his robot, but he already lost the weapon by that one hit I gave him, right? So, uh, pretty sick. Pretty sick. And I think it's time for me to tell you what I think is the best uh, exotic setup user. Uh, it's the Ravana, simply because of this constant invincibility, alright? 
You know I'm fed up with Ravanas on the live server myself, but I kind of think it's cool if you run it with fun stuff. It's really, a, it's a really, really fun setup without going uh, completely ludicrous on power and overkillness or overpoweredness, right? This is not an overpowered setup. This is because the damage output can't be that high with the regeneration all the time in between. But it's a good setup nonetheless, and it's fun to use. And that's kind of what I want from the Ravana, to be fun to use. See, he's trying to hit me with his Hydras there, and he doesn't get me. But I'm getting this Aochun down to 40% health in one hit. Boom, and then he heals back up and tries to stay safe. And I only need to hit that Spectre one more time to get him killed, right? Only one more time is all I need, and he's gonna be done. done. So let's wait for that moment to happen while he's wasting his Hydras. You can tell, this guy wants to do damage. He wants to do damage with his Hydras. And now he stops firing at me, because there is no damage that he can do against me here. See, he's firing one more time. A Ravana, by the way. Boom! Ravana down, 30%, a 35% health. And I have two more invincibility runs ready. And the Hydra player says, screw that. I no longer fire at this guy. This guy runs away, gets another one in his butt. And now is down to 30% health. And rest. All right? Shock Train is actually good at fighting Ravanas unless they get too close to you uh, in short range, okay? But if you can... Oh, let, let's get that Spectre, by the way, okay? Let's get that Spectre. It's finally time to get him. And... Boom! 70% HP on him. <laughs> Death, okay? And there goes his Hydra setup. He respawned now with a Phantom. And I just almost killed the... I would shun and I chained over to the phantom you see he's attacking me now because he's really mad at me, but boom, Last stand with you sir Shock train even does the chain reaction damage after if there's another enemy nearby So it does even more damage when it hits them at the right time and the right vicinity or so boop, boop. Okay, there goes the last stand of this rice player with another Ravana and, uh, of course, I wouldn't want to run this setup on Dead City, where people are so close to me. Um, but on Dead City, we ran the Leech, and I think this would have probably worked even better, right? We also... By the, by the way, we have the Power Man skill for the Ballista, so we do 20% more damage with the Ballista, too. So we actually do much more than double damage. We're doing like 110 or 115% damage right now, on top of the normal 100%, so... 215 altogether, basically. That's like two and a half shock trains hitting you at the same time. <laughs> no, wait, uh, six and a half, sorry. Six and a half shock trains hitting you in the face. Let's go for this guy and boom! Pretty much dead already. Let's see if we can finish him. Oh, I think I wanted to run away. I could have probably finished him off, but I don't want to expose myself too much. Although I have two more abilities I have a face shift what could possibly go wrong on this one right here we have an Aochun coming in he's desperately trying to get me and I'm gonna do boom and uh, then I walk away right it's actually a setup that works really well on the Ravana because you only need one split second to deal damage and after that you're back in invincibility okay here comes the Aochun walking out of the cover and he's dead. He wanted me so badly, but I got some backup. Boom. Hitting this, uh... How many times have I hit this guy already? This is insane. This guy probably hates me too. He's like, every time he gets so much damage from this. And boom, fully charged. Another 10% uh, or so gone from him. And this is a Titan with resistance, right? And we're still rocking overdrive. I can't wait to see how much damage we will have done at the end of this match. With, uh, with these overdrive things. By the way, I played this a few uh, days ago, and now I do commentary over it, so my hands are free. But I did play this, obviously, as you see on top left. This is the Battle Wreck account. Are we gonna be able to hit that, uh, that Ao Chun? Uh, Ao Ming, sorry. Let's go for it. Boom. Yep. He took some damage. And now he's trying to fly out of 500 meters range. But I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna let him. Hold on. Boom! And back in safety. And he's healing up. 
It's the guy who was the Spectre before, remember? Th that was the SR dude from uh, from before with his uh, with his Hydra Spectre. We have an Aochun right there. I can't hit him at this point. I'm trying. No, I would like to try, but... But I think I'm coming for him now. Uh, because he just used one of his... Fl he's, he just used his flight ability. So, uh, let's go for him. Okay. Running to the side, and... Boom! There you go, dude! You got Shock Train, son! And here he respawns with the Arthur, and I hit him one, hit him one more time before he closes the shield. And yeah, in my opinion, the Ravana does it best. The Ravana does the Shock Train, or maybe other setups too that we're gonna find out. Let's find out some other exotic setups on the Ravana, but this guy here does it way better than any other uh, robot in the ba in the game right now. Even though he has less firepower than the Spectre or the Leech, but the survivability, the fact that you can't get him killed, and look how I counter the Ravanas. Every time they try to be safe from the shot, but every time I get him, because I only need 0.1 second for this. That's all the time I need, right? So here's an Arthur, let's hit him from behind, and boom. Fully charged. Oh wow! Hello, hello guys. Uh, I don't want. Oh, let's let's go for. It's the SR dude again. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. How are you, dude? Boom. Bye, bye. Again. And this has been the same robot throughout this entire match. Let's see how much damage we've done, ladies and gentlemen. Easy win. 2.8. No, 2.75 million damage or so. Or 2.7, whatever. This is just insane. For a shock train setup doing 3 million damage, that's rare. That's really, really, really rare. And um, the, the Ravana does it like nobody, like nothing else. Like super easy. Does it all day long. To my, my opinion, Leech is good at that, but the Ravana is better. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. See you in the next episode. And bye-bye. And oh, don't forget to check out this video I linked in the beginning here with the, uh, with the, uh, <laughs> the Last of Us playthrough. That would be good if you guys could check that out.